Okay, so today I am coming from Hebrews, and um, Hebrews chapter 5, also reading through my, my uh, camera again. I want to start with verse 12 from chapter 5. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 12. It reads, for thou by this time you ought to be teachers. You need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God. And you have come to need milk and not solid food. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of, of righteousness. For he is a babe. But solid food belongs to those who are full, who are of full age. That is, those who by reason use have their sense exercised to discern both good and evil the reason why i wanted um to read that is because it's so important um that it's dictating and separating people who have milk meaning you're not able to take um deep things of the spirit it's not that you can't know God to a certain extent, but it's just that you can't take deep things of the spirit. You know, the mysteries, the prophetic, knowing that, you know, demons, you know, operate to the full capacity that they do. Understanding things before time, ahead of its time, you know, knowing the future before its time, prophecy, things like that. Um, it says that, but solid food belongs to those who are full of age, that is, those who by reason of use have their sensings exercised to discern both good and evil. So, you know, God is speaking about exercising. God spoke through his ministers about exercising their senses to discern both good and evil how do you do that you do it by the holy ghost now when the word of god was created and even when people were writing the books of god they were teaching you by the holy ghost they they had an order they knew that by having the holy ghost that's the only thing that they spoke out of now if they saw somebody from our time and age trying to teach the word of god and they're looking at you like brother do you have the Holy Ghost? How in the world is it that you can speak to these people? There is no way that you can speak to these people. Not whatsoever. Not whatsoever. So we have to, um, to realize something. When we're reading scripture, these people in the word of God have the Holy Ghost. There is no way that they can be sent on a mission. And be reading the word of God and talking about God. Put it like this. If somebody from the, just this era, this generation, even a few generations back, someone just writing a book, they wouldn't even pick that book up to read it if they didn't know that person was filled with the Holy Ghost. And that's all that I'm trying to say. So we got to think about this, man. When the word of God was written, these people had the Holy Ghost and they were able to write down these mysteries and talk about these things and talk the way that they talk. So guess who was talking? Jesus spoke through them. So there's three different dimensions. God is three dimensional. So even though Christ died and he came and he was born on the earth. And his ministry was, was what, for three years? And he was 33 when he died and he started ministry at 33? No, 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 30, excuse me. God, meaning the Holy Ghost, lived on. So you have to understand that your mind speak to you. That's what he mean by, but solid food belongs to those who are of full age. That is, those who by reason of use their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. We got to have the nuggets of the meat to understand that common sense 
if Cain Christ, if, if, if Cain Christ, <laughs> if Christ came and died, right? For our sins. And he left us the prophets and all those people after he passed away. Everybody who was raised up after him. Then we know that it is he who speaks through them if they have the Holy Ghost. So if no one has the Holy Ghost and they're speaking, who is it that's speaking? Tell me that. Tell me who is it that's speaking then? Who is it that speaks in the place of God? Flesh. Do you think God honors flesh? Do you think that God honors when we don't have the full capacity of what we need? How many pastors have got behind the pulpit without being baptized? How many people just get into the word and don't soak themselves in the presence of God because there's a difference between a regular believer I mean duh. oh wait God is correcting me how, how can there be a difference everybody in, in, uh, in Christ we all should start off as babes some of us don't the Holy Ghost comes upon us we get the Holy Ghost we start eating meat you ever seen a baby eat too fast and start eating or the parents start feeding them other stuff and they start just going straight off of around six months they didn't have chorizo and everything else especially beautiful hispanic babies you know i remember you know a few of my kids they were so hungry they had to have oatmeal put inside their stuff they had to have different things put inside to make them feel more full quicker because they was just you know hungry i'm not gonna say greedy but the appetites are different everybody's appetite in christ is different there are some people who want to know God a little bit more than the other. There's other people who don't want to know God as much. There are some people who want to, but they're confused. There are some who know the way, but they don't want that. They just want to learn themselves. And so what are we going to do? There's a thing called patience for everybody. Because even me, having a relationship with God, do I feel like I've arrived? I surely do not feel that way at all. Not whatsoever. And guess what? Quenitra still got to wait. Whenever God is asking me to do something, I still got to wait. I still got to wait. I still got to wait. But I like that, that word that they used. Who partakers of only milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness. Wow. Word of righteousness. So what does that mean? So if I have the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is telling me. The Bible is telling you to do the right thing. To do what's right. The Bible says to love. The greatest of the commandments is to love. Do right by people. Do right by God. Do right by yourself. I know that your body, your flesh wants something. And it's just feasting for pleasure. But do right by it. Don't destroy your, your own body. Don't destroy your own mind. Your flesh is dumb. Your flesh doesn't have any knowledge. It's stupid. It, it depends on you and it looks to you. Even though it acts like a baby and it whines and lusts for evil. Your spirit man is supposed to nurture your body. Your spirit man directs your soul. Oh my gosh. This is right now Raymond Word. This is God talking to me right now. Every time I cut the video and I don't know what I'm getting ready to say. Dear Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What do we do? We badger ourselves and then what's the second le level? We, we badger one another. What's the third level? We judge ourselves and we, and we feel unconfident to come to God. And we let the devil pull us down so much to where we don't even feel comfortable repenting. We just judge ourselves and sit there and say, you know what? But guess what? We got two things. The body is at war. The flesh is at war with the spirit. I still want to sin and masturbate and all that. So this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to connect and mesh together that I'm not all that perfect. And I'm going to still do sin and say, well, God knows what I'm going through. That's exactly what we do. And God separates. God is a rightful judge. He's, he's a fair God. So he'll come down, take the sword, and separate those two attributes that you didn't put together. That thing that you have intermingled, God separates. Woo! I bet you didn't catch that. You didn't catch that. Maybe you did. I'm going to leave it right there. I think you need to think upon that for a second, what I just said.
that the Holy Ghost said through me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Not me. Woo, I, I feel comfortable to go on. I wasn't going to do this. Chapter 6, therefore, leaving the discussion of the elementary principles of Christ. Woo, let us go on to perfection. Oh my gosh. Yes, Lord. I feel God. Not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God, of the doctrine of baptisms, of laying on of hands of resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment. And this we will do if God permits. Oh, my gosh. I think somebody's learning today for it is possible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift. Yes, sir. And have become partakers of the Holy Spirit. Oh, my gosh. And have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the age to come. If they fall away to renew them again to repentance. Oh, my gosh. You guys, I wasn't even looking at y'all are a witness. Dear Jesus Christ. I was sitting here talking to you guys about needing to have the Holy Ghost. I didn't even know what was on that page. That's how you know God is here. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. They crucify again for themselves the son of God. And put him to an open shame, meaning when you re sin, you re crucify Christ, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For the earth which drinks in the rain that often comes upon it and bears herbs useful for those by whom it is cultivated receives blessing from God. But if it bears thorns and, and bri briars, excuse me, it is rejected and near to being cursed, whose end is to be burned. So, when they speak mystery, they look for, um, they knew that they were speaking mystery. So that they, they're, they're speaking spiritual. They're talking about people. Man, this, this dude spoke in parables and he spoke deep. For the earth which drinks in the rain that often comes upon it. That was, that was self-explanatory. And bears herbs useful for those by whom it is cultivated. We're talking about regular herbs and different things of the earth. Receives blessings from God. But if it bears thorns and briars, it is rejected and near to being cursed, whose end is to be burned. He's giving an example. He's speaking two way. He's speaking about a regular example of the earth, and he is likening it unto people. Because God says, I am the vine, you are the branches. And the person um, who doesn't bear good fruit, he cuts it off, it withers away, he cancels into the tree. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Thank you, Lord God, for the reading today of the word. Um, we will get more into discussion. Like I said, I will do more of these. You guys be blessed, okay?